MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Dave, we're at Cov University. Can you tell us what the event is about today? Uh, well, today is uh, an experience for our trainees, uh, apprentices, that uh, they get the opportunity to see some of our products working. Uh, the tool which we're looking at today is a diver cutter. Uh, our apprentices are actually more familiar to manufacturing the tools, regrinding the tools. Today they get the opportunity to see them, in, uh, to see them actually running. And we're going to see them running as well today. And oh, we're, yes, yes. We're going to be putting the cutting tools really to, to the test. Yeah, today we're going to be running the tool to its uh, capacity or within the capacity of the machine. You'll see a various number of uh, processes. Um, but yeah, we're looking to run the, uh, the tools to its full capacity. And when we talk about tools, what is the cutting tool that we're actually going to be using? Uh, the tool today is a diver cutter. It's relatively new, um, a few uh, design features which make it a little bit uh, special, uh, particularly the, the coating, a very hard coating which enables us to run at high speeds because it can withstand the temperatures, high flute spacing so we can pocket and, and slot mill at very high speeds and feeds. And I think the, the good thing about this exercise is you're actually performing it on a Haas machining centre, yes. which is a, is a popular machine in the UK, yes. and you would class, you know, there are hundreds or thousands of machines out there, so it just shows subcontractors what they can achieve with their machine. Absolutely. Uh, when we normally develop and test these tools, we have much more powerful machines. Um, but in the workplace, we're dealing now with a machine which is more indicative of what our customers are using. Okay, Dave, so we're going to be doing some helicoil milling here, which we can see. Yeah. How does this compare to conventional? Well, with the feed rate, the in-feed rate we can see now is approximately twice what you would get with a conventional milling cutter. So the feed rate we're running at today is 25% of the diameter per revolution. So the diver cutter compared to conventional milling tools can be up to or more than twice as fast. Exactly, that's right. So we looked at the helicoil milling, now we're looking at the drilling here, Dave. Yep, because of the increased fluid space that we have, it enables us to drill as well. Uh, the feed rate we just looked at was 0 0.045 per rev. So now we're going to do some ramping, Dave, talk me through this. Yeah, the diver cutter, one of its advantages is the increased fluid space, which means we can ramp at much higher angles. Uh, conventional milling is approximately 10, de 10 degrees, with the diver cutter up to 45 degrees. Wow, 45 degrees, so what does that give you as an engineer on a machine? So now we can get to depth of our pocket in much quicker time. Now you wouldn't know it Jeff, but I'm not university educated, but I'm very impressed with what I've seen here today. Can you tell us about your role and the relationship between Haas, Goering and yourselves? Yes, um, I'm a senior lecturer here at the university, um, working in the mechanical engineering department, primarily responsible for the CNC area, which uh, uh, is a suite of six Haas machine tools, three lays, three machining centres, which are part of this brand new building that we've got, which has just been open for three years. Obviously, as part of that machining facility, it's really important that we engage with companies that make supporting um, equipment for us, such as cutting tools. So Goering can come in here to the engineering and computing building, use our facility, the Haas machines, to demonstrate the capability of their cutting tools. And they've been here for, for two days, actually, to demonstrate their brand new diver cutter technology um, to show that we can, we can extend speeds, feeds, and essentially to enhance metal removal rates, which transfers directly to, to the efficiency within industry. So prior to using their product, when you had the Haas machines before, before you went to the advanced manufacturing show, have you seen a big difference in what they provide to your previous supply? Oh, the tremendous difference. The speeds and feeds that we've, we've been using over the last two or three days are ten times what we would be using on, on conventional tooling. And that's great for the university because it's all about education and education in engineering and education in machining. It's absolutely fantastic because we're, we've got students in the area, students who are learning. If we can plant a name in their head, then as they move through their professional careers into industry, that name will therefore come to the surface again and they will tend to engage with that company for the technology. So really, really important. And I mean, there are lots of Haas machines in the field, so you've got a machine that is quite commonplace in the market, and then you're using cutting tools, which as well 
There's loads of Goering products out there, so the two of those together put you in a good position to train. Absolutely essential. One of our remits is to engage with local industry. As you said, a Haas is a standard industry type machine. It couldn't be better in terms of, of the way we're situated um, in Coventry with Motorsport Valley and, and our local subcontract facilities. Really, really useful for transferring of that knowledge into the local industry. Jeff, thanks for your time. It's my pleasure. Thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.